What's up all you action figure collectors and toy enthusiasts out there? It's time for Alternate Heads, the Toy Talking Podcast. Welcome back for another show talking about all those lovely plastic items that we love so much. I am Jason Yex, the dude over there in a weird... Uh, it's old... me, your boy. That's how I greet the demons. That's how you... I go, I go busted into haunted houses, and I go, "Hey, yo, demons! It's your boy." Then, then they I, kill you right then, then and there. And then I invite them into my soul. Yeah, y'all don't know if this is a late show that we're doing. We have real like, late. Yeah, it's like late on a Friday, and we have like day jobs and like shit. ten p.m. Like I gotta be to work in like eight hours. Oh, we gotta get this shit done. Okay, probably. And, yeah, and and I still gotta go to the gym. So we are going to bust this one out, but it is Star Wars Celebration Weekend. I forgot it was Star Wars Celebration you know, until out of nowhere it was on Instagram. We, we really need to apply for press for that. We could have probably made it. We probably could have. We, we got to San we got San Diego. It couldn't we be could harder to get into Star Wars. We and got in there. Because it looks like I, I have been posting some stories on supercoolnerdshow.com, of course. Hey, you'll be at San Diego this year. Who knows if I'll be at San Diego this yes. year, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, we got to see Andor. I'm loving that Willow. I don't know if you ever saw Willow, but Willow. I did not. Oh, it's a classic movie. It's been like 22 years, and Warwick Davis still looks good, man. So I'm excited about that. But, you know, that's Star Warsy stuff. We care about the toys. So let's <laughs> so talk about we, toys. Let's, let's go in hard on Star Wars. Uh, so the first shots that we got, well, also today, happy Obi-Wan Day. Oh, God. So it was really funny for me. I, I woke up this morning and I was just like, what am I missing? I know it's Friday. I don't go into like really late today. What, what am I up to do? Holy shit. It's new My Hero Academia chapter day. So I read that bad boy. Uh-huh. They all fell. Uh, so I got excited. And then I went to the gym. I was just like, uh, I wasn't feeling it too well. So I made it kind of my rest day. And then the next thing you know, I came back and I was like, it's Obi-Wan day. I watched so- the first episode, took a quick siesta. And then when I woke up, it was playing the recap for episode two, and I was like, holy shit, there's a second episode. I know. So um, I actually saw that it was available at like 11 p.m. Yeah, apparently it was going to drop. I guess episode one was supposed to drop last night, and episode two dropped this morning. Oh, okay, so that worked out great, because I watched the first one, and I was like, all right, I really got to get to bed. So, Because I, I actually woke up on Wednesday, you know, like, hey, Star Wars Wednesday, let's do this. Oh, I looked at, I looked at the time. <laughs> I, I totally forgot. I looked at the time and I was just like, oh my God, there's a second episode. I can't wait all day for this. This Absolutely. shit was so good. Absolutely loved and it. I immediately looked at the time. I was like, I got to be to work. I got to leave for work in one hour. This episode's 41 minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> well, let's start with the good and then we're going to go towards the bad. So we got some figure reveals today. You want to talk about what we got first? Like we normally do? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm Boy. sorry. But it's okay. I'm, I'm, it's I'm a, excited for I know, for Star you're Wars. into Star Wars, so how about we start with some Star Wars? So we got some new Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Kind of. I don't know why these are so hard to find, um, but we didn't... We I said that I got this last week uh, last week or the last show, but you did just pick this up, so I went yeah, ahead and I, I brought it on get, the table. Uh, so we got Ahsoka. Nice Ahsoka. Yeah, so I got my Ahsoka. You picked up your Ahsoka. While you were saying that, I found not one, but two of the client. I... I've passed him. Which is weird because I hadn't seen him before. So, like, I picked one up and then I went to the same Target like two days later and they had another one. I was like, what's with these new Star Wars figures? I guess I should go just go ahead and get the client. <sighs> Granted, I, uh, oh, well, yeah, he's a great figure. Uh, I think the only reuse on him is like the pants from General Lando. <laughs> Uh, but he's a great figure. He wants to see the baby. So, I mean, uh, in this way, what was it? We got, I got Omega already. Well, the, these are two different waves. Oh, these are two different ways? That I'm Omega? about to kind of talk about. So oh, I thought in, Omega was in this way, though. Yeah, I, again, okay. we'll, we'll get there. Uh, this So the way we're talking about right now had Ahsoka, had Echo, had mm-hmm. the client, Got it, okay. had Omega, and it had a Death Watch Mandalorian that I so desperately need. I, I've not seen that guy, and man, he's a troop builder, so good luck. The only ones from this wave that I am missing are Death Watch Mandalorian and Omega. I, oh man, you haven't gotten Omega yet? I didn't. I made a choice. So at the time, like everything, you know, prices are going up. You had to kind of, you have to cancel and pick what and choose what you're going to get. 
So when the Star Wars stuff was hitting, I had enough to get two Star Wars figures, so I made the choice of getting Ahsoka and Echo. I have not seen the Bad Batch, so for me, Omega has no attachment to me other okay. than being a tiny character. But having a complete team of Bad Batch mattered to me more, and Ahsoka clearly mattered to me more. <laughs> so, uh, final figure that I managed to pick up was, and I actually just picked it up today because I kind of forgot about it. Uh, what? And I didn't plan on getting this one, but it's Bill Burr, man. Yeah, I haven't gotten him either. Um... Uh, it's Migs. So he was in the last wave. Uh, and that last wave was a big wave, and that last wave can't be found anywhere. How can I find the client before I find the last wave? The last wave composed of a stormtrooper. Didn't get it. Migs. Okay. Dr. Avazon. I haven't gotten any of those. Pana Baba. I may have said those wrongs. It's Star Wars names. Yeah, uh, that's close. Bib Fortuna. Uh, Boba Fett in his casual clothes that he was wearing at the end of the Mandalorian before he got his armor back. Okay, we did get those. Yeah, we got him and we got uh Fennec. Fennec. Yeah. Now we had we ordered And a those. Princess Leia. Uh was it Leia in her It was like in her cere- uh like her ceremonial outfit, so on and so forth. Oh that man, was an I eight I kinda wanna that, get that one. That was an eight figure wave. And, and I, I have not seen hide nor hair of them. I have seen only two figures of that wave in the wild. I saw, obviously, Migs, because I picked him up today. Mm-hmm. But after me and you ordered uh, Boba and Fennec in the, uh, from Hasra Pulse, if I'm not mistaken, I went to a Walmart, and I found Boba Fett in the wild, and I texted it to you, and I went, what the shit? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 But we already... That was, but at that time, we already owned him. There was no reason to and pick him up again. he's readily available on Hasbro Pulse. Plus, I think so. Yeah, yeah. he might be. But And that's the thing. is like Technically, I could always go back, because they're doing like restocks all the time. So technically, the only one in that wave, in that first wave that I really, really wanted was Bib Fortuna now, and technically Ponda Baba and Dr. Vazon. Like, I would yeah, take I them, but those. I could care less about that Leia. There are other Leias that are going to come toward, uh, come to me eventually. Well, I want that Leia. Um, I will always take Stormtroopers because I goddamn love that new body mold. But ultimately, like, the other kind of characters, like, I didn't plan on picking up MiGs, but I had a little bit of extra. And Star Wars stuff came out today, so I wanted a Star Wars figure, so I picked them up. All right. Well, go ahead. You got a couple of DC things up there. You're on a roll. Hit it. I think I talked about this every show, but every single time we're about to record a show, I say I am caught up on everything <laughs> DC McFarlane could possibly have to yep. offer, and then I literally will walk into a GameStop the next day, and I will come across Godspeed who's here somewhere. I'm not really sure where he went. He may have fallen off the table, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, wow. Huh. Someone vanished. Anyway, Godspeed is here somewhere. Oh, you have him, because you were looking at the joints. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Godspeed was the first figure that I managed to find, and it's good. I really, really like this Godspeed. Plus, it's Godspeed. Who doesn't love this character now? Uh, then following that, uh, fun fact about Godspeed, they changed the joints. I told you about this. They changed the joints on the wrists and the, the feet, which were my biggest complaints about DC McFarland figures. They were ugly, hideous balls for like the longest time, so like it really affected like a Wonder Woman figure. There are some other ones that I have that really, really get affected sculpt-wise because of those horrible ball joints, but they fixed them. They were a little confusing because my Godspeed likes to get them stuck. And I thought they were permanently posed like this. And I was like, why would I want Godspeed to do this? But oh, who cares? Then I went back literally about two days later to the same GameStop I got Godspeed. And they had CW Flash, Grifter, and John and Kent. <laughs> All three. They also had, but I did not pick up, uh, I want to say the next wave of spawn figures. I don't collect the spawn yeah, figures really. There's like a couple that I may pick up here and there, but I've seen like gunslinger spawn everywhere. I just I, I I've been passing them up. You got to pick and choose your lines now. So with all of the price hikes, especially with them wanting to increase prices again, Hasbro, what are you doing? Oh um, boy. But I did pick up one more McFarland figure. I picked up this guy. I'm not really sure who he is. I know for a fact that he is... I've seen him in the store. Yeah, and... I've seen him in Targets before. Uh, and I know he's Spawn-related. 
But the only reason I picked him up is because I don't think I'm going to be getting a rat catcher figure from DC anytime soon. And the way that they had rat catcher too in uh, Suicide Squad kind of reminded me of this look. So I figured I could make rat catcher one. And if they release rat catcher two, I'll have rat catcher two. So in my DC wave, this character is going to stand in for rat catcher one. Fair enough. Okay. It looks similar enough. Let me see you just knocking stuff down there. I mean, no, this table's constantly unstable all the time. You want to know, before we go into the stuff that uh, you want go into, because you have some stuff, let's stick on the McFarland train real quick. Yesterday, I found wave two of Avatar, the last airbender's, like, four-inch figures that he does. That's the only four-inch wave I still collect now. I got them right up front there, those two. Yeah, well, there's three, actually. Oh, I'm uh, really the third Wave one, one oh. consisted of Aang, uh, Katara, okay. Sokka, and... Uh, Zuko, okay. and they also made like a bigger version of Appa, the the flying bison. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wave three just came out of nowhere for me. I didn't even expect them, and it's Avatar State Ang, which easy reuse. Toph, one of my favorite characters, and General Iroh. So they're the I collect this. I have the seven inch figures as well from that line. I have Ang and I have Zuko. Of course you do. But I'm not a big fan of the seven inch ones because he has them posed too dynamically like he has ang stuff flowing like it's in the wind which makes sense it's an airbender but i can't put him in a neutral pose and zuko in a neutral pose has just this yelling look he doesn't have a neutral look like his four inch figure counterpart does so i've been getting them because i like the like i really do like the mcfarland figures and i do like avatar the last bender i'm a huge fan of that series so, but I, I picked up the four inch figures because so far they've, they've looked amazing. Plus they're the only avatar figures I can really collect right now. Jason, let's take a break from what I got. What'd you get? Sorry, I was distracted by a Dawn Taijin. So I was like, oh, like, can I buy that? I want Dawn Taijin. All right, let's talk uh, Fortnite, actually. That's something that we both collected. So uh, uh, I think you had like a, like a day or something. You're born. Yeah, around. it was a Tuesday. Okay, yeah, it was that. It just, for me, it was a Tuesday. It was absolutely a Tuesday. It was my birthday recently. Yes, it was. This, both... pa- this past Tuesday, which granted, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll notice all I posted on that day was, it is Tuesday. I have a mixed relationship with my birthday. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I still I, got him. I got sent a, yes, I got sent a gift card, and which helped out a lot, so I didn't have to pay for anything. But Amazon has the full Fortnite Wave 2 Wave, so I managed to get Bush Ranger, Metal Mouth, Ragsy, and Funk Ops, and then you asked me, where'd you get these? And I told you Amazon, and then today I <laughs> and found out- And then I out- just kind of forgot about it, and then I was like, oh, hey, cool, Serious Tools on Amazon. I, <laughs> like, I believe the exact words were, you were you were like, where did you get the? Oh, they're all on Amazon. And I said, I told you that immediately. And then I, I had to send you a proof that it happened. I always send him, whenever he tells me something I forget, I have a gift of a, a, a NXT wrestler. The dream has the dream has no memory of that. I love, I love using that. Yeah, but I was prepared. <laughs> Came with receipts, but anyway, so we got uh, Funk Ops. Um, Amazing. Um, I like Funk Ops. He doesn't come with a gun, but you know he's got the funk, so that's enough. <laughs> I love he's that his I love that his pickaxe tool is just a freaking pickaxe with a with disco, disco ball, ball on it. Loving that. Um, what's the uh, the metal mouth guy? Uh, yeah, metal mouth. That's metal his name. mouth. <laughs> metal mouth guy. I meant that as an insult, and that's actually his name. Um, actually, pretty cool. He has a pistol and a holster, which is pretty good. I um and then we had Ragsy, which is basically what cuddle team leader, but more punk. Yeah, I guess so. I like uh, it. I I don't know a whole lot about Fortnite. I have played it for a little bit now, but because I don't like the the building stuff, that's just not my thing. But with zero build, it's been really great. Um, now you handled my Bush Ranger before. And I you did. Still think Bush Ranger I still think is the in best this, line, this line. Yeah, I still think that in this line, Bush Ranger is absolutely the best figure in this wave. And in fact, I can tell you right now, he will be in my top 10 list for the year. Nice. Okay. By the end of the year. And while we're still on the subject of Fortnite, we did just get shipping on the Foundation. Yes, Foundation should be here Sunday, actually. Uh, I, I got to check mine. Mine said it should be here on the 29th. I wouldn't count on it. Holiday weekend. This is true. Because so they they'll it, screw us. It is 100% possible, but it is FedEx. 
Oh. If it was USPS, then I would 100% believe that I wouldn't see that bad boy in two weeks. But FedEx does technically say that uh, it'll be here sooner. Uh, I have to log in and check my shipping. My FedEx see. detail says that he will still be here Sunday, May 29th. Mm, well, somebody is hopeful. I mean, if he's not here on the 29th, I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that he only comes with the umbrella, but he also comes with the stand. Yeah, I work all day that day. I kind of wanted him to have a that gun that we saw you know we get guns with fortnite now, figures quite every, often so but i i also oh do mine's not, tuesday i mm. do not intend to replace the head either i was thinking about it but that figure that you need the head for is like 40 bucks it's also two, i have a rock figure um do you have the one that everyone's recommending like the because Ultimate no series? because the rock figure that i have his head is too big for the figure so the ones that people are thinking i have like a smaller head sculpt but i actually don't care for i don't want the rock on my shelf in my fortnite line i want this bat like to me fortnite has its own storyline that i have completely made up on my shelf which is just a bunch of intergalactic bounty hunters and aliens and all this crazy shit so for me, he's going to be a bounty hunter and not the rock. <laughs> yeah. Mine's saying Tuesday. So yeah, I know holiday weekend got me. Who's now, to say mine was probably just a little bit behind yours, which was enough for them to go. Apparently eh, Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, no that, worries. It, it looks like a decent figure. Uh, let's get it in hand though. We're going to talk about Fortnite a little bit more later. Yeah. Um, but oh yeah, definitely go on to, uh, some magical big boys that you have beef with. Oh man, are, are are we already gonna get into the bot? Just go for it. Uh, I don't I don't wanna. Hey man, that's a nice looking third party transformer I right there. I want to talk about this. Let me go over. To, okay. Goodness, if what what you uh, know, I um I hate when they transform. Look at Uncle Hero's over there. Ah, can you? Okay. Uh, he was past you... Red Eclipse door. Okay, so that is the fans toys Hannibal figure, which um is the headpiece. For uh, Fortress Maximus, which I'm going to actually throw in that shot that I sent you to compare it to a Doctor Strange God figure. Damn it, man! You don't have room for Sentinel. <laughs> you don't have room for a Galactus, and it's coming in at four feet tall. So I've got like two years until this thing probably comes out. That's even worse, because <laughs> there will be other stuff collected since then. But, dude. It's a good... Okay, first off, just let, let, let's just go to it. First of all, it's a good bot. It's got a little bit of heft to it. Fan Store is a very dependable can company. I, can I interject real quick? What's that? Go ahead. Uh, Transformers RUD line for life. Those aren't real Transformers. Anyway, but uh, when I actually put it in the head... Now, now, here's where I got in trouble, actually. Because I had it in head mode, and Becky was in there like watching something with me. And she's like, so is it just a head, or is there a body that goes on with it? And I'm like... Shit. <laughs> and then she like sees a look on my face and it turns into that like Anakin Padme meme. There's a, is there a, is there a body to that? Is there a body, there to, a that? body to that? And I had to explain. It's, yeah. Yeah. We, we're at odds now. <laughs> Somehow we're not at odds on a thunder tank, but we're at odds on a fortress Maximus. So you've already you've already started it to incomplete it would really uh be irresponsible you know what's really gonna suck because that thing sold out really quick so you're gonna be happy you're gonna have to be on top of it first of all let's imagine this for a second the people that buy the headpiece but don't buy the body and we're just left with a ton of the just the body pieces or if the heads sold out if they do this they need to reissue the heads because a lot of people are going to buy the body pieces and then not have a head. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how it's going to come, but we'll, we'll Cardboard see. Cardboard cutout, sir. But yeah, that is the uh, Hannibal from, I uh, put a third party symbol on his chest. I mean, an uh, Autobot symbol on his chest. It's a really good bot. I love the sword, love the gun piece. And... It's a good looking sword. Huh? So it's a good looking sword. Yeah. Also, that head on that robot transforms into a smaller robot, too. So it's, a, it's like a Russian nesting doll of robots. But anyway. I did find uh, the figure in front, though. Uh, I'm picky and choosy on my AEW figures. I love AEW wrestling. But that figure is of Mr. Brody Lee, um, who was a wrestler for AEW that passed a couple years ago. And I felt the need to get his figure for some reason. I don't know why. I just did. Uh, it's a good-looking figure. It really is. And it honors the captured, man. I think they, yes, I, I felt the need to honor the man. So that was strictly a, out of nostalgia purchase there. He'll have a dedicated place on my shelf with my other AEW figures. So, all right. Uh, 
You want me to go on or you want to go Yeah, ahead? you can go on. Okay, well, I did keep on with the Super 7 Thundercats line. I got Tigra. We talked our, about this last time, yeah. From our buddy uh, down at Toy Dojo. Love him. Mr. Eddie Chan. Go visit that store. He got me Deno. And I did get Pumira. That was the one from Entertainment Earth, which uh, that finally came in literally today. I think we ordered that while I was on the show. I did like Entertainment Earth's uh, catalogs. I forgot how good these were, actually. It's, it's made I me will stay of, silent. I know. I know. But it has made me want to get a couple things like Mezco Batman. The Batman looks good. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have to... I want, As we all say, toys, the prices are getting higher. I have to let go of most Mezco figures. And I understand that. Um, I actually canceled my John Constantine because I found out I did not Ooh. pay for... I did not pay for him in full. Uh, so because of that, I I lost a small deposit on it. I think like twenty five dollars or whatever. But I paid for that twenty five dollars like a year and a half ago. So I'm not missing that. But I I do have the good news of who knows when the hell they're coming in because I ordered these over a year ago. But I will eventually at some point get a three pack Mezco set that I paid in full on the day of the pre order of. Zack Snyder's Justice League, Black Suit Superman, Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck's Batman, and unfortunately, Ezra Miller's Flash, who has been a little bit of iffy in the news. That boy ain't coming back. <laughs> I didn't I mean, they kept Amber Heard, so, you know, maybe he stands a chance. No comment. All right. Uh, what else we got? Well, uh, speaking of, as long as we're on Mezco, I did actually get a deal. And uh, yeah, you got a good deal. Uh, this was from a local seller. Let me hand over to that. I just need to keep that pan up so I can just do it from here. But uh, I passed. Uh, well, I didn't pass on. I just kind of couldn't afford them at the moment. But yeah, I found a Mezco Gambit for a really fair price. Can I just say how good of a segue that unintentionally was to get into your Mezco? Figure? I know, but it's a really good figure too. Wire in the trench coat. All the good, soft goods are great. A lot of accessories. I see you put them right on the stand. I did put them on the stand. I it, When I display my Mezcos, I used to display them with the stand just because it was a really nice base and it looked good. Uh, oh, until I got so many game. Mezcos that they couldn't fit properly in the stand. Like, they could fit in the actual display, but the stand took up so much real estate that I had to put them away. <laughs> and I don't get a lot of Marvel Mezcos, but you know what? I had to get this one, and it's really good. I don't regret this all, you know, and a really fair price, man. I may have Marvel a lot of Marvel in comparison to DC. Actually, I think I only have one DC Mar uh, Mezco, and I think that's Batman. Actually, I I can't even say that's that. the same you Batman. Me and you have the same Batman. Uh, you've got a few Marvel ones in there. You've got I, I can I see I see Cable, Blade, yeah, and yeah, Moon Knight just I, from here. I really need to shut up. I just got. <laughs> and in fact, you've got Gambit. In fact. I mean, granted, I think the uh, Mezcos that we both share are going to be Popeye uh, and Batman, but I think those are the only two Mezcos we share. Yeah, no, I got a lot of the... Because we got Harley the Hellboy Quinn, together. Yeah. Catwoman, yeah. I do have the Hellboy from uh, the recent remake, but that's just a solid figure. Yeah. I haven't seen the movie. It's just a solid figure. And that Wonder Woman in there, the cla I mean, the uh, modern Wonder Woman was like my... One of my figures of the year, right? I there. also have awesome. Homecoming Spider-Man and Far From Home Spider-Man, I believe. Yeah, I kind of want to get some Spider-Man. So I also have Captain America. That's a good Captain America. Oh, yeah. that Twenty-three classic minutes one. here. Okay, let's uh, let's talk Lightning Collection. We both managed to come across. We didn't put one of them on the table. We may not have talked about it last time, but we did find the Lightning Collection MMPR Pink Ranger Ninja. Did you not have her on the table? I did not have her on the table. Okay, I may that's have cool. forgotten it. I got Does, her. You have her right there. Uh, mine has some QC issues. That's right, Catcher. Everything going down there. And, uh, this is, the table's fallen down like four times since before we started the recording. But we got the pink one, which we found, you, which you found immediately. I was kind of surprised. We hadn't seen blue and black yet. We hadn't seen a lot of things yet. To be fair, that was wave one. Remember, those, white and pink were supposed to come out first. Okay. Um, they just, but blue and black just happened to be seen. Um, but speaking of which, we found blue and black. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, by the way, I did not get the ones that you put aside for me. Literally, my uh, there's a Target that's closer to me. I went and stopped by for groceries, and they have blue and black. So I just picked them up. That's cool. And now my local Target has a ton of blue and black. Yeah, there's a lot of those. <laughs> we actually saw someone in a Facebook group. I actually saw the recent wave again recently. I, I didn't find the uh, the Zeo Cogs, obviously. 
but I found pink, uh, Dino Charge pink, Dino Fury red, and what's the the middle one again? I forgot. Silver blue. Uh, oh, Silver no, no, Wolf. Lunar Wolf. Lunar Wolf. That one's not there. Everyone's going to be collecting the correct Lunar Wolf. Yeah, I kept uh, I kept seeing people finding them, so they must be, like, hopefully people are, are finding them these days. I think they're finding the um, correct ones, too. Right off the bat, okay, the QC on these is not great. I have a big problem with part of the articulation too like i'm collecting them because me and you like collecting yeah. new figures and we love the power rangers line obviously i auditioned for it in an open audition hopefully i'll do better anyway part of the issues that we have here my biggest complaint um taking away qc problem is the overlay they clearly have a joint right here in the abs so you can use the torso bend but that overlay while not terribly thick is apparently it's done in such a weird fashion because it's attached to the hips. Yeah. Because of the way that the belt has to be and the sculpting and the just like the kind of material they use, that you actually don't get any of that bend. And for the longest time until I picked up blue and back just a couple of days ago, I didn't think there was articulation there. Until I was messing with blue and black and my my middle almost separated on black and I noticed the joint there and I went this is not all sculpted to be one piece with no articulation. It's just that bad of an articulation. Bye. Did somebody fall off or? Uh, no, they didn't okay. fall, but Metal Mouth and Bush Ranger. Okay, well, those are yours. So I don't care. Um, Me too. I, I hate that this on uh, black here, we get it from the camera, there is a separation between that. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. And I'm guessing maybe some heat popping that off. I don't think so. I think the only way to fix that, in my opinion, because I have that too. Like, that wouldn't And be, it's on both of your legs. That Yeah, it is. It's on both of mine. I actually have that, uh, that issue a lot. It's so big of a gap. My only thing that I can think of is if I were to separate those two joints, I think that there's going to be a built-up of plastic underneath there that's preventing it from going down. Now, whether mm. it's something I could easily get out or if it's something that I could... Uh, but for some people, you'll probably have to Dremel it out. But I don't have a Dremel nor those skills. So for I me, I am ne I'm probably going to leave mine as is because I, I don't see myself until I fix with mine, these. and then you're like Jason, fix mine. I I have done that once with this the U.S. Is true. agent. Yeah, and that was for the better. So, it does look better. All right, uh, but you also got one that I didn't get. You got that red Ecliptor. Red there. Ecliptor came in literally this morning. A lot. I got like two or three figures today. Like it was ridiculous. I, think I just forgot to order that one. Actually, I got like four or five. But like Red Ecliptor came in. I got him from the ever so great Dorkside Toys. They're so good. We're not sponsored by them. Uh, but Red Ecliptor came in. And I really like this Red Ecliptor considering we have the regular Ecliptor. You have them, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got them over there. Yeah. So uh, regular Ecliptor was a good sculpt. But Red Ecliptor really pops. The only issue that I have is the little like piece that he's got on his chest is painted on. It is not sculpted on. And I understand that Hasbro likes to use reuse. And to be fair, when are you going to use that again? <laughs> Why sculpt something entirely new when you can just paint on top of it? It's not, it's, and it really doesn't bother me that much. I've only had it for a couple hours, but like, I, I just really wish that they had put like an extra piece and then maybe like glued it on there. That's what I was really hoping for. Was Red Ecliptor not available on Hasbro Pulse? He should be. It's Hasbro Pulse. Huh. Weird. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. And no, it's a good figure. I got him this morning. Uh, I, I, I have this problem with some of the like deluxe figures. They're not really worth some of their prices. Uh, when Ecliptor first came in, he we got her, uh, we got him with Astronomer, which I kind of understood the price there. Um, I just feel like Ecliptor should be a little bit cheaper. But I felt the same way about nice. certain figures. Twenty five on Hasbro Pulse right now. Well, after shipping, I paid thirty five. And add to cart. <laughs> yeah, so that that was part of it. Uh, but no, it's it's. I mean, it's still good. It's, I mean, it's it's another villain for the shelf. That's what we need. Yeah, work getting him. All right, so moving on. Do we get everything? Or? Almost to wrap it up, because again, the nightmares never end. I managed to get some figure arts. I believe you also have a figure art to show off now, Mister Past Birthday Boy. So I got. Gaim! Thank you, brother. Of course, man. You were so in love with my Gaim that I mean, we had to get you one of your Gaim own. was one of my favorite series, and... That boy is hard to get. And this is... this is a I, I was looking at yours. It was a really good fig. So we managed to get you Gaim. 
Uh, when I ordered your Gaim, I managed to order, and I, you'll have to forgive me. I have not seen Saber, but Saber is on my list for probably the next series I'm going to watch. I haven't finished Zero One yet, so I might go back and finish that one after I catch up on Revice. Uh, but I got Kenzen, who is like the ninja version of whatever, but he looks good. I also love that he's shorter than every of the all of the Saber figures. Like, they're doing a lot of really good uh, height scaling with all of these figures. I really love it. Especially the fact that this sword separates because he can dual wield. <laughs> I don't know anything about him. I just know that that's really cool. Uh, so I love the color scheme. And then have another one coming soon. Yeah. Moving on to, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Uh, moving on to back to zero one. Uh, they have the for the first time Valkyrie. Wow. Got, she had in the show. I know for a fact that she had a wasp form. Mm -hmm. She had something called Jackal, which I haven't gotten to yet in the series, but it looks really cool. And then it wasn't until the newest movie that she got a final form. Dude. And they made her final form. And she's really hard to get to, both forms. So I managed to finally snag this one on Amazon for a cheaper price. And then Mandarake was selling her better for $30 less. So that was cool. That is a good looking rider. But right she looks amazing. Did you glue that gun on? I glued a lot of things down. Now, Jason judges me a lot for certain gluing certain parts of my figure arts down, but I know how I'm going to forever have them posed. These actually kept falling off too, so I glued these down. But I also didn't realize that the reason why these were removable at first is because these hook in around the hands. I thought I could still move the hands out, but I had already glued them down by that point. Mm. So I'm okay with my decision. I don't regret anything. But my like on uh, one of my... Vulcan figures, I didn't glue down the gun. That gun's lost forever. Oh, it's in a vacuum somewhere. It's it's gone. It's just gone. On the Vulcan that I do have the gun on, I keep in hand permanently. Yeah. Because that's just how I did it. But on my other Valkyrie, I keep hers in hand as well. But what if figure arts would ever consider just selling parts. I would really hope so <laughs> one day. But because I've had to buy like two builds and I've broken two other builds. Mm. Like I'm really upset because of the antennas. But these are figure arts. On, on certain uh, on certain figure arts, when it comes to riders, I do super glue parts of them on because they fall off too easily and they're lost to the void. Um, but as for my last figure art that showed up today, and it involves a good question to Jason, mm -hmm. we got starting off from the newest revitalized Super Sentai line. We got Secret Power. It's actually yeah, Secret Power. Zen Kaiser. I can't believe they. Kikai Sentai. Zen Kaiser. They brought back freaking this Super Sentai. Looks so good. Yeah, it does. Here, before they announced this figure, um, I think it was Toku J on Twitter. If you don't follow him, you really should. He's very good at an uh, animating things. He's re recently redesigned all of MMPR, Zeo, uh, the Psycho Rangers in space, and now he's doing Time Force. Those renders are amazing. He even did a render of a Lightning Collection Kamen Rider figure. <laughs> it looks so good. Uh, but he did a render a long time ago of what he would hope a uh, figure art Zen Kaiser looked like. And I thought it was real for half a second and got really disappointed. And then Toei went, hey, Bandai, you want to you wanna bring that line back? Oh. And then they did. And I pre-ordered this bad boy and he came in today and he looks so good. It does. Good. It does look good. I got out of most you super sold super. most of yours yeah because i had incomplete i own two of yours by accident <laughs> so yeah i mean i still have uh mmp well the uh, zoo ranger uh of course go kaiger and i think that's all i kept i have uh sun eagle which was yours uh the very region uh the very I had a couple of i had a complete deck ranger i had team. i have aka ranger very number one who's mm -hmm. going to stand next to him in the display uh and i have goodness um uh, i'm I, I am starting to i have the unofficial team yeah. too i am starting to kind of like i kind of wish i because i had some complete teams i i don't think you should regret it um so well, I, would, I, I, I had i had a joke made for you which was going to be how was uh how's that collection going now that you've officially ordered one yourself so yeah, I uh, I was looking for your uh, gift, and I and you know Amazon Japan just loves to go. Hey, I couldn't help you, couldn't help but notice you were looking at Super Sentai. Uh, well, some common Rider figures, 
And I saw the Zenkaiser. You could just say Tokatsu, you know. And man, it's on the way. It looks like a person in the suit, which has always been my problem with the older figures. Yeah. That said, not only did Zen Kaiser restart the line, but they had they recently announced because this is gonna, I guess, kind of lead us out of into new finds and into something I was gonna talk about anyway. They recently announced alongside Zen Kaiser that they are redoing Gokai Red, thanks to the movie. Boy. So they're gonna redo Gokai Red in these proportions. And I have a Gokai Red over there. He's one of my favorites. And you know you're gonna have to get Gokai Red and replace him. And they're also recently announced Don Momotaro from Don Brothers. Don, Don, yes, and Don I finally Brothers. got into Don Brothers. Don, 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 I, I'm Don, 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 really Don. liking it. I got him to watch it! <laughs> um, that Twitter video where the cast is opening up that mecha. Oh, man. Don Tajin. Oh, man. I it's wish, huge. I wish I it's, had gotten it. It's so huge. I wish I had pre-ordered it. Oh, I'm getting it. it. He's, I, I've got a spot for I him. will find him third party if I have to. I will get him. Um, Mondarek does a really good job of not escalating the prices too much based off of what it is. Uh, like, I got the the Dawn Blaster from Mondarake for, uh, I want to say retail. The only price that I ended up having to pay extra for was the outrageous shipping because of how big the box is. That is what will kill me is the shipping. But if Amazon ever puts them back on there, for some reason, everything Kamen Rider Revice and uh, a lot of Zen Kaiger stuff and especially Don Brothers stuff on Amazon Japan, those bad boys sell out and stay out. Apparently Don Brothers is... Uh, it's ridiculously popular. Yeah. Which is crazy, but I ha- I'm all- I've am all. i been watching it week by week. I am behind an episode, considering a new episode drops Man, tomorrow. Man, stuff is sold out for it on Mandarake. Anyway. I have yet- sent, When this first announced, when this officially came out, it sold out. And has not been back in stock. That's the reason I had to order it third party. See, you just need to be able to visit a Toys R Us Japan, you know? How about- yeah, let's just go. It's easy. Let's just roll. <laughs> I, uh- But man, Don Brothers Day trip. Is, Don Brothers <laughs> is so good- I really, really hope, and as much as my wallet is begging me not to say this, I really hope that we get the other figures from Zen Kaiser and uh, Don Brothers. Because I would really love to get, especially, even if I can only get one more. You would really love to go broke is what you were really I want Juron. I want Two Kaiser. I would love Stacy. Uh, Two Kaiser mainly and Juron. And then from Don Brothers, I really want Oni Sister. I have no idea how you're going to make my uh, Akiji brother. <laughs> but, you know, I whatever. wouldn't bank on it for now. No, no, I wouldn't either. I think if anyone's going to get a new figure arts, it's going to be Oni Sister and probably two Kaiser at the most. Uh, but I would love to keep going. But at the same time, I've already got four figures on pre order for figure arts that are brand new and they're real expensive because oh big bad toy store really hikes up the prices on figure arts so we're ready to talk some star wars celebration now star wars we saw uh good star wars stuff today i would say well, uh vintage let's... collection people aren't happy but i don't collect vintage collections so that doesn't matter to me not a thing for us however that black series uh third sister reva whoo dude her armor looks so good Every, th- every figure that got re- like announced today looks outstanding. I'm loving that the lightsaber is going to be able to do everything that we're seeing on the show with the fully uh, with the ring and the double side or just the single blade. D- just this figure of Moses Abraham looks really good. I love that black armor, man. It really does look good. It, it's it. I don't know what it is about this armor, but it just it's perfect. Um, but. She ain't coming alone. She's bringing the other Inquisitors with her. We're getting the Grand Inquisitor. Finally. I'm loving the cape, the removable cape. And then um, just, man. I'm, he I'm, looks so sassy. I had, to, I, had to, I had to enlarge this picture so I could look at it. But like I said, we're, that is not it. We're uh, getting, uh, what's the other guy's name? We got uh, Fifth Brother. Fifth Brother. Which, uh, the face it, sculpt could be better. But that's just because of what... From I, what don't, I, I don't think it's that bad. It's not... No, no, no. I don't mean that it looks bad. This face sculpt looks amazing. It looks like I'm looking at a person. But I thought he was more robotic in the show. I think it's just the suit. 
it's just something about the sculpt overall. I will gladly add him to my collection. I'm all about Star Wars. And uh, who's just, the other girl? That's uh, that's sister. fourth sister. Fourth sister. Because second sister, uh, I hope we get second sister one day. But yeah, she's, I mean, we did get. God, um, God damn, she's huge. Um, we got first sister, wasn't it? Yeah, it was first sister and then second sister, right? We never got second sister. Okay. Second sister appeared in the uh, in Fallen Order. Oh, that's we, right. Yeah, first sister over there. Okay. Yeah, first sister we got over there, uh, who's great. She would have to be a deluxe. Granted, figure. I'm a I am now a little upset that even though we have first sister, we don't have an unmasked first sister because they were trying to keep that a secret, which really uh, wasn't yeah. that big of a secret. I really hope down the line that we get a two-pack with a re-release of First Sister with a head sculpt. It would be easy reuse for them, an easy charge. And then a brand new sculpt of Second Sister. Because be, yeah, if you're going to give me third, fourth, and fifth, and the Grand Inquisitor, you can't leave out Second Sister. Nah. So, but, but man, they all look really good <laughs> together. And then they announced that HasLab that I won't be getting. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's talk about that HasLab because it looks like they've already tooled this up. See, that's what I have a problem with here. When we paid for Galactus and Sentinel, we were we were paying for that tooling to make those tools to make the parts for. Which, granted, they technically made it too already, but they were they. Did. I think Sentinel. We saw a lot of CG renders. No, we saw physical rent. We saw physical. We did see it. We did see it. And Galactus, we did too. But it may. But they made that may have been a sculpt, but it but wasn't they, tooled up yet. They knew we were gonna fund Galactus. Regardless, this look. This lightsaber looks like it's a lot of parts forming on it. I'm like, not a fan of. Not let me rephrase. I would absolutely own any of these VFX lightsabers. Like, they look amazing. They are pricey as hell. But they're too pricey, and I have no room for them. Like, I have Mace Windus, but they have gone up in price. They have almost doubled in price. I just recently found, again, and we've talked about this before, the big speeder thing from Solo, from that big one. I literally chunked that bad boy across the room, getting ready to throw it away, because, one, it's broken, I guess. It's missing parts, so I'm not going to sell it. So I decided to just get rid of it. If I can't handle that thing, I can't handle a lightsaber. And if I'm going to go buy a lightsaber, I'm going to go to Galaxy uh, Galaxy Quest. Is that, I think that's what it's called. Galaxy Adventure or something like that. Over in uh, Universal Studios or Disneyland. I don't remember where it is, but it's over in Florida somewhere. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to pay for that Jedi experience. And I'm going to build my own lightsaber. And then I'm going to hack it. Because you can do that and you can change the colors. All right. But moving on back to Star Wars stuff. We did get some reveals, four reveals. Ah, uh, we got decent amount of reveals actually. So we technically. got. Uh, we knew these. Were, we kind of knew some of these were coming. We got Ala Sakura coming up. I'm so happy. About damn time. I'm. Yeah, I am happy about that one. She looks so good too. It really does. the The, the head blue, the head real, tendrils, that blue yes. really pops. I'll get the next one. We're getting season seven Maul from good old Clone Wars. Oh yes, definitely well, a must-have. Especially considering how well, I'm glad we got that first Maul, and I'm glad we got the Knight Brothers and stuff like that. Right. But they weren't the best articulation, but they yeah. were much needed. This looks a little. This looks this, a lot better. This Maul is going front and center. Oh yeah. Uh the other one we are getting second season from the Mandalorian Grief. Give me all I, the Carl Weathers. I think that that figure looks amazing. And I think he will not be a shelf warmer the same way his previous he counterpart was. Because this one just really pops. He I looks regal. He looks really good. Uh, as for the fourth reveal that we technically uh, technically got, we got a concept series two-pack that I am dying for. And it's Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, and it's still Alec Guinness, just shaved and no beard. <laughs> easy pass. For me, that's an easy get. So not only does that Darth Vader look really good and terrifying, I I could use that Darth Vader as like some kind of decrepit statue. Like the way that helmet looks kind of looks the way it does in um, Force Awakens, where it was kind of melted and like creepy looking. I could almost think of someone having made like a statue honoring Darth Vader and the dark side and whatnot, but the Alec Guinness body that for the the concept art series looks so drastically different than Alec Guinness in the movie 
that this could be an entirely new character, whether we want to make him a Jedi and give him an extra lightsaber, or if we want to make him just like a regular person or some kind of master. Like for me, this does so much for me to just do when I have made my own OC, like original characters for Star Wars. You can just, I'm, when I put him on the shelf next to my original character, he'll have his own storyline. All right. That's all it is. Uh, we also got pipeline reveals. I have never played any of the Star Wars games that wasn't basically Fallen Order. Uh, Fallen Order. Granted, we know that we're going to get uh, the next Gaming Greats figures are coming from Fallen Order. They didn't announce that today. But we also found out that from Pipeline Reveals, we're also getting two characters from Knights of the Old Republic. And I don't know who they are, but I'm going to get them. They look great. You have the picture up, probably. Uh, I don't have those pictures yet. I was actually trying to see some, um, see what I could find on this. Uh, vintage Collection, there's an X-Wing, but that's about They it. did announce stuff for Vintage Collection. It's just that I hear that Vintage Collection people were really upset about it. But I, the reason why I feel like they were upset about it is I saw one Twitter post somewhere where they were like, of course, we got overshadowed oh, by I Black got, Series. I got, I got high-res shots now. Yeah, they, uh, they say something like, oh, we got overshadowed by Black Series. That's not a good sign for us. Vintage Collection has gotten significantly more reveals than Black Series has all year. And maybe even all of last year. When was the last time we got like a huge heap of Black Series news? Mm. We don't. Oh, uh, uh, the Riot Scout Trooper was the other one that was revealed. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, it's 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 a thing, but it's it was there. I do like troopers. I just don't collect them when they are old. Uh... Was this an old? Was that the old mold? If it's an old mode, then I generally just don't get them. Uh, okay. But yes, I finally got some high-res shots. Uh, oh, actually, that Riot Scout Trooper is from Jedi Survivor. I'm all for... I saw the teaser today for... Uh, Jedi Survivor. For Survivor, and I'm so happy because we hadn't gotten any news forever that they were even going to continue the Fallen Order storyline. But they are, and I'm ready for it. Why is Alex Guinness bald on this picture? Was he bald in the original Star Wars? That is a, not in the original. Is this the concept shot? That's the concept shot. So that means With those weird lightsabers. Prior to them making the movie, that was the idea of what Obi-Wan was supposed to look like, which I think drastically changes everything. So I'm all for it. Like, that's why I'm all in. Oh yeah, the highs red shots did come out. Oh God, they all look so good. God, I love me some Star Wars. Yeah, but this is the... Looking at the Scout Trooper, other than new tooling for a giant shield and extra pieces over it, it is exactly just a... It's a re-sculpt. Not a re-sculpt, but a reuse of the original stuff, so I'll be passing that one up. I cannot do those older bodies. Oh, also the... Uh, I, can, I, I do have to mention the uh, the Lego BD-1. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Don't I forget like, that, I like uh, that. I like that. <laughs> don't forget that uh, the Obi Wan is going to come with the the Lunabot. Yes, and yeah, we got that little uh, little animatronic Lunabot. Yeah, that actually there's... looks neat for kids. I think your kids oh, will love yeah. it. Yeah, I, I see my kids loving something like that. Especially my daughter would love that. And your wife, don't pretend. I don't know. Becky hasn't watched it yet. So anyway, uh, did you have the other pipeline pipeline reveals? Those were really about all I it? saw for pipeline reveals. Okay. Like a lot of the pipeline stuff, it really there really wasn't any pipeline has been really short, which is part of my problem with Star Wars Black Series figures lately. They'll be like, "Hey, here's what's coming," and it'll be like maybe two or three figures max, and then I won't know anything. But speaking of not knowing anything and getting out of Star Wars for a second, okay. I want to talk Fortnite. Oh boy, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this. So um, Fortnite has barely gotten any coverage. Like we had a big live stream for it when they were first taking over the brand, mm-hmm. and like all the figures officially got revealed, and like we were we were so excited because there there wasn't like a live stream for Fortnite, but we kind of knew what was coming because it all got leaked ahead of times, and Jazzware still had it, and then we got them before Jazzware's even finished up their license for Fortnite six inch figures. And then we got this big live stream of Betty tell you all about Hasbro's uh, PulseCon and how you're going to get a whole Fortnite segment and we're going to announce all of Wave 2. And that was the last time we heard anything about Hasbro's Fortnite series from Hasbro until 
last week when they did a single poll on their uh, on their Instagram to help them decide what's going next in I believe wave four because wave three is already ready. It's I mean you can get it on Amazon I think or no that you that you the listings I found on Amazon but you cannot buy them yet. Yeah, but we haven't had any official announcements for anything in a while. And also, I, I can't help but notice. Look, there is Fortnite on the shelves and ain't moving. That is They're, correct. But I think the part of the problem why Fortnite's not moving is they keep... I actually have seen this. They keep sending them Fortnite figures because they are selling. They're going away. But now they're not because they kept sending Wave 1 multiple times when Wave 2 was supposed to be shipped out. Wave 2 never made it to shelves, at least for Texas. I mean, we, we had that one sighting where somebody found Wave 2. Someone found it once. In a Walmart. And, and me and you went looking for never weeks. Never found them. Never found them. We had to order them on freaking Amazon. Hell, we've been searching for weeks for Boba Fett. We can't find him either. Like, I, I can't find new Star Wars figures. I can't find new Fortnite figures. I can't find anything in Texas lately. Like, Texas is even taking away the Marvel Legends. I don't understand what's happening. But... Like, Fortnite deserves to get the love, which is something I never thought I'd be advocating for because I liked the Jazzwear series, but I wasn't in love with it either. But I enjoyed them. But Fortnite has been giving me such weird and wacky designs like Bushranger here that I cannot get over how amazing these are. And then when Wave 3 got leaked, but then actual professional photos shown to show that we are getting red links, which, okay, it was bound to happen. We were about to get a reuse one day. So, but red link, but it links in red looks really good. Uh, we are getting Cluck, who I guarantee you is going to be the standout figure of that <laughs> wave. I mean, it's a giant chicken boy. Uh, I got the other ones here. Give me one second and I can tell you what they are. But I know for a fact that we're supposed to be getting a deluxe Brutus figure, uh, which is wild to me because eventually uh i knew it was going to happen eventually but we started finally tackling uh figures that have been done by jazzwares but what's weird about that is i think brutus never actually made it to shelves for for jazz uh for by jazzwares like it was announced that brutus was coming and then we never got it so i think that's a that's a little wild um Okay, I've got the rest of them right here. The other figures that we're getting other than Clucks is we're getting Lambro, which, then eh, whatever. I'll still get it because it looks nice. Uh, oh, it disappeared on me. Uh, I want to say it's one more, like, humanoid figure. I can't, I can't recall off the top of... Oh, no, it's right here. Condor, Unshackled, which I thought looked funky because it had the the three lights and while it looks cool on the artwork kind of looks like a giant clown nose in person <laughs> so we have that so i just think it's i think it's wild that we just aren't getting any information about fortnite stuff because it almost feels like we're leaning into the overwatch figures mm, yeah it feels like we're kind of going that but route. here's the problem the overwatch figures if i'm being really honest weren't good not compared to other things compared to fortnite and everything else that came out from hasbro the overwatch figures were weirdly proportioned they had weird articulation they were really stiff the best one to think about is uh mccree that poncho got in the way a lot i ended up giving all mine to Cass. i ended up i think i still have some of them but i ended up i think ripping out part of them to try to make a custom somewhere and it, i just ended up having to let that go but, like, I still have some of them. I think I just kind of started using them for fodder at some point. But, like, Soldier 76, for example, that head was way too small for that body. Yeah. Like, granted, I care. That, that probably is what it looks like in the game. I never played Overwatch. But, like, those figures felt too tiny for the price that the we were. I Figma for that one. The figures were too tiny for what we were paying. That's basically what it felt like. Like, sure, they were good height-wise, but... Like Tracer could fit inside a Bush Ranger here, and he's got some tiny tree limbs. Yeah, I still love those little tree limbs. <laughs> they, these are fantastic, but that's the thing, though, is like those figures couldn't stand up; they were too top heavy. We could, it, like, sure these have fallen over, but I'm hitting the table a lot and I'm bouncing. But like these figures can easily stand up if you just fiddle with them just a little bit. Like it's not hard. I mean, yeah, they'll fall over eventually, but like. 
they're wacky, they're fun. These are selling well if you could give them to the public. I don't know what's going to happen with Fortnite right now. Um, but it's a shame because I'm really enjoying this line. It's not going away. Like I don't think it's Please getting, don't go away. I don't think it's getting canceled because Hasbro is honestly offering like they offered that fan vote. You had the choice of ordering um of going through the Ghoul Warrior. Uh, I wanted the Ghoul woman. Warrior. You could have gone Leviathan, which is what I voted for every single time because I I, lo- I wanted Ghoul Warrior. I loved Leviathan as a uh Jazzwares figure. I ended up selling him because I sold most of my Jazzwares related Fortnite figures. But uh and then there was Black Knight. Out of Ghoul Warrior was cool, but to me she was just a plain body mold. I wanted wacky. I wanted wild and weird yeah. like this. And Leviathan was the most wild one for me. But the winner was Black Knight. Well, let's talk some more about some of these Hasbro reveals that we did get this week though. Before we what are we at? We're at fifty six minutes. Okay. Uh, we're getting Morph from X-Men Animated. Don't care. Yeah, I do. I, I'm not a big X-Men person, but I do collect certain X-Men figures. All right. Just quick hits. Uh, Fire Lord. Amazing. Which, which I, w- I wanted him as an extra figure with Galactus, but cool if you're going to give him to me. Just going to awesome. give him. Yep. Give me the flaming Q-tip. I'm... <laughs> Yeah. I know. I love that comparison. I know. Uh, another war machine, which looking at my war machine, is he good? Yeah, my war machine's fine. I don't need this one. I, yeah, I will be passing up on war machine as well. But Japanese Spider-Man. I told you forever ago that was coming. But to be fair, it was a part of a leak list, and we don't really talk about the leak no, list yeah, before I, it was official. But it officially but revealed. We got... Looks good. The mercenary of the dead. I am so ready for this figure. I need this one. I need this figure. I pre-ordered that one immediately. Yeah. That was one. That one's a fan channel one, so you have to pre-order it through like GameStop or okay. I need to go out and put up stuff like that. Okay. So uh, I pre-ordered him a pretty penny ago. Uh, but yeah, th- those reveals, those were good. Now the other one is one that because my wife was a big X-Men fan in the '80s, but this Mojo Verse uh, pack have to have it. I, uh, unfortunately, I sold my old mojo. This one is so much better, though. Uh, I do know that they are adjusting the paint apps to make him a little bit greasier. Oh, yeah. He needs more liver spots. He needs to be grosser. But also, we're getting another Dazzler figure. Fine. Don't care. We're getting long shot. Yeah. The three-fingered person from the mojo verse. And this, oh, and a X-Baby Wolverine. And X-Baby Wolverine. Now, this packaging, we don't care about packaging. We open up the but this That's is just the trash between me and the toy. With the TV guide thing and the remote control and the big TV box that it's coming in. I'll give them credit. This is really good packaging. I will. But ad- this is a must-have for me. I will admit as well, on top of that, uh, I, I just said clearly that I don't care about X-Men. Like, I care about them. Like, I love Wolverine with all my heart and stuff like that. Um, and I pick and choose because they're just not my MCU or they're not like some of the like Spider-Man comic stuff that I love. They're my bread and butter. But Mojo alone got me this close to pre-ordering it. It's really Not good. knowing anything about any of these characters. I know nothing about this line. Like, this is not the comics I read. I just didn't read X-Men. Uh, God, that Mojo looks so good. These are must-haves for me. Uh, there was one more reveal. And that is for me in the MCU line, Sharon Carter. Did not see that coming. Did not. You Absolutely I, did you not. You and I talked about this for weeks of what we thought was going to be in that wave. We are 100% confident that it's going to be She-Hulk. We're 100% confident it's going to be Ms. Marvel, which I am surprised was not revealed considering her series is next month, if I'm not mistaken. Like, she's just right around the corner. I'm looking at the Sharon Carter figure. Um, okay, now, she... it doesn't look bad. I, it's Sharon... No, no, it doesn't look bad at all. But it's, it's, de- just that... it's definitely plain in comparison to two Moon Knights and two Hawkeyes. Um, it looks like kind of a new female buck. Mm-mm. Are those legs reuse? Those uh, legs are the jeans. If I'm not mistaken. It's the jeans. Of... Yep. Most of it is reuse. Yeah. I I will say, um, like, and you can That's tell it's reuse. Yeah. You can tell it's reuse, too, because of the single jointed elbow. Yep. I see the lab coat. That's the more the more lab coat right there. I will say it makes sense that we are getting Sharon because one, she's going to be a I big guess. part of Armor Wars. Okay. And she was a big part of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, 
and she was a part of the other MCU movies. I, I will say I never had this on my wish list, nor was I expecting it. I'm gladly accepting it. But also that knife she comes with, holy it's, crap. It is uh, <laughs> It's it's a lot of reuse for something that we we kind of should have seen coming. Yeah, maybe so. But we didn't. Um, granted, I would have really, really liked to have Scarlet Scarab. That was my choice. By the time we <sighs> I still think finished we're gonna have Moon to Knight. wait on that one. So. I did, I know, but I'll take it. Yeah. So I think that's everything for Marvel. Um, there was uh... we did get a couple DC news. Uh, I didn't want to talk about. I know you don't like these, but I love one one scale weaponry. And, uh, I don't hate them. I just don't get them. And we're getting uh, the Blue Rangers Tricera Lance. It breaks apart. It extends. They're it's neat. everything I need. Remember when that Blue Ranger was coming out? I was like, you cowards better make the full-size staff version. And they did. I'm going to give them credit for it. This... Granted, I, I haven't taken a close enough look on it. Did they make it show accurate? Because they said that the uh, the Power Sword was going to be show accurate, and it's not. Okay, that Tricera Lance had a lot of different versions on the show. I'm just going to say that right That's now. fine. I'm just saying, in general, like, the There the were sword, multiple versions. The sword had a lot of weird stuff. I don't like know they, if I'm, I'm, I'm with the sword. Also, I have the legacy version, which I think is the superior version. It is longer. I would like to compare them side by side, but I, I would have to buy one. Buy the other one. So yeah, I don't know. Not, I don't get any of the 1-1 weapons, and it has nothing to do with anything wrong with them. I would absolutely get some of them. I you still have, love my legacy collection. You have the 1-1 weapon from Rhea soldier which is now a uh, dino fury you have mm-hmm. their you have their sword and that's that memorial edition from granted, uh, i think they call it the chromo saber now well and, and it was in the like i said memorial edition weapons they, they are making um they they did the uh gertlinger they revealed that one recently i, th- I don't know if it's bigger though it's bigger yes it is the Gertlinger uh, Memorial Edition is much is. Did they show that it was it was bigger? It's about double the size, man. It's show accurate. As long as we're doing reveals now, I guess we're talking about the Memorial Gertlinger. Um, supposedly it is going to be able to play. Um, you know, oh yeah, you're right. It is yeah. a lot bigger. Holy shit. Uh huh. It is double in size. I know, right? I would get that if it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Oh boy! Um, hmm. And it's coming with metal. I, and yes, and metal gears. Metal gears. Ooh, that's really tempting. I know, right? Uh, what is it going for? Do you have a price over there? I don't have a price, but I guarantee you, I can get one because I am on a Tokatsu website. Do, 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 do. I mean, it increased its size by a hundred and thirty percent. It comes with. Yeah, I look. It looks like it comes with. All of the gears: uh, Zen Kaiser, Juran, Gaon, Majin, and Varun. I'm telling you, these Memorial Edition things are not yes, cheap. They're not. I have found the price. It is thirteen thousand two hundred yen, which is roughly what a hundred and twenty bucks. Hold on, give me that again. It was thirteen. How many? Thirteen two hundred. It should be about a hundred and twenty-three. Thirteen two hundred. Thirteen two hundred. That's only $103. Oh, my math is wrong. Yeah, it's... Uh, well, you have to, re- you have to uh, remember... 100, uh, this 100, is happening. This is happening. $103 is not bad, considering the fact that the original one, if I'm not mistaken, ran for about 50 Yeah, this is happening. If that's 100 bucks, this is happening. I don't know where I'm going to get it from. I think I got the Memorial... Gir- uh, the Mor- uh, Memorial, Memorial and Saber. And pre-ordered. You just pre-ordered it? I have no idea. I just... <laughs> He just said it. Okay. Uh, pre-orders are going to be open until July 25th and scheduled for shipment in January of 2023. I mean, I could probably find it. It may not be available to order yet. Uh, looks like they have it on Tokyo Collectibles. I just got there. Uh, but they're charging $190. Oh, you bastards. With a deposit of 60 bucks. You so- bastards no that's part of the issue that i have with ordering some of these things online is because they do price hike quite a bit Mm -hmm. like if i wanted to buy the demons driver which i know for a fact was only like 60 bucks they're charging 155 we're gonna have to do a little bit of research to try to find that a little bit lower but yeah they're even charging 140 for the memorial edition of the kid may changer oh wow and that's a wristwatch (laughs) So anyway, uh, looks good. Uh, this is happening if I can find it for closer to the price. If I can find it for that actual price, 
and like maybe 20 bucks of shipping, I would do it. Yeah. Right. Uh, last thing that I wanted to talk about is Todd. Boy, if you're going to keep reading my uh, my top 10 wish list, then you're going to have to give me some credit. Oh, yeah? Boy, I, I don't know if we know this, but I made a top 10. 10 it's actually a top 15 wish list where i said interchangeably i want these 15 figures either in their injustice 2 design in their movie design or in their whatever game design that they're supposed to be or in their comic book design i wanted those figures i'm gonna do just a just a real quick uh recap i'm not gonna say from what era or what thing i'm just gonna name the figures that i had put on this list i said i wanted blue beetle I wanted Cyborg, I wanted Wonder Woman, I wanted Robot Man, John Constantine, Reverse Flash, specifically in this case, and some of them I will I will say, uh, in Reverse Flash I wanted from Injustice 2, Green Lantern from Injustice 2, I wanted Scarecrow, I want Captain Boomerang, Batgirl from Gotham Knights, I wanted Flash from CW, Captain Marvel or Shazam, regular, Deadshot, uh, General Zod, Batman, specifically from The Batman, Swamp Thing, Doomsday, Kilowog, The Manhunters, and Killer Croc. To this day, <coughs> excluding obviously minor variables, but I did say I would take either one of them, we have technically gotten, we did technically get a cyborg, but I'm not counting that on that list because I did specifically say I wanted non T Titan cyborg. We got officially announced and i'll go back into those announcements in a second john constantine so that's one we got reverse flash from injustice 2 we got uh gotham knights batgirl we got cw flash we got general zod granted it's comic book but it's very close to the way that it was designed we got the robert pattinson's the batman we got swamp thing and we got <laughs> killer croc slowly but surely we're making our way through my list because we recently got announced these pop pagers now originally they announced them as three quarter inch figures with very very basic in, um, articulation so we don't care about those because who cares they're i mean they're for somebody they're just not for us but then todd said i'm gonna make just brand new figures in the same style as the dc multiverse figures that i've been making and they consist of batman superman uh, Black Adam and John Constantine. Hello, Constantine. Welcome to my list. Welcome. I will not. Pro I probably will pass on Black Adam and Superman. Superman's face looks a little too funky. Like I know that's how it looks on the comic book page, but it looks a little weird, and I don't think I really need another Superman, especially with one if I'm not in love with the design. Which goes back to Black Adam. I'm okay with the Black Adam that we already have. That one just seems really bulky, like in the hand, like it seems too disproportionate. Like it was something that I would see on like an animated kid series that just plays at eight in the morning, you know? But that Batman for some reason really looks good to me and I really want it. And then of course, John Constantine, who doesn't want him? Yeah, I'm kind of wanting that really, I'm, I, will, I need a Constantine in my collection. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it's Especially, gonna... you know, you gotta have Constantine next to your big boy Swamp Thing, but, I mean, hell, you look at Grifter here, and you, uh, this is one you desperately wanted. Yeah, but he don't have guns. And Grifter shoots guns. What are you talking about? Yeah, you got a gun from somewhere, but he didn't come with that gun. Came with, uh, really big swords and hey, gun-wielding Grifter doesn't really, uh, do swords that much. That's you know, not true. If you look up Grifter right now in, uh, in Google Images, one of the first images that pops up is him holding a sword. Another image should pop up with him also holding knives. It's like one of the first things that pop first up. First off, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, uh, I was there when Grifter debuted in Wildcats comics. I, no, I no, no, know no. that he is a coder trained assassin capable of op operating a lot of different weaponry, especially swords. But he uses guns. Anyway. I'm aware of that. I'm just saying that it appears within the very first images that you can get on Google Images. Now, granted, DC themselves are preventing Todd from using guns. But we did announce recently that you can buy one for one. Uh, first can, image is him shooting something. You can there. buy... Uh, you can buy the DC ammo pack. Or it's not DC. It's Spawn. You can get spawn guns, and don't you dare put those guns in your DC McFarlane figures. They do not belong there. That is illegal. 
I still want the more classic He's bad grifter. Anyway, so I think we've covered everything pretty much there, haven't we? Yeah, that's pretty much all the news that I all got. Right, cool. You know, the news change comes and goes every single day. Yeah, I think this is a good one considering it was a uh, Star Wars celebration weekend. We're gonna I have... can't believe I forgot that it was Star Wars. We are uh, going to try to go next year. I seriously want to go to a celebration. That would be fun. I it absolutely be a lot of fun. All right. Bye, anyway, bye. guys, uh, yeah, I think we've got it all. So thank you all for tuning in for another episode of Alternate Heads Toy Talk Podcast. Nate, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at... The Near Plasma. You can also find me at Nathan Benyunis. You can find me on Twitter, Near Plasma. Find me on YouTube, Near Plasma. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at JasonTheX. Make sure you go to supercoolnerdshow.com for all your daily news and reviews and stuff there. And yeah, hopefully I'll be on band from Twitter very soon. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us. Always stop and smell the plastic. We'll catch y'all later. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thank you.